They shoot brumbies, don't they? Yep. Glamorous as all heck. Hanging out the sides of a chopper. One foot on the skids. Polished rifle gleaming in the sunlight. Itchy trigger finger at the ready. Herd of brumbies galloping majestically within touching distance. Bang, bang, kapow. Brumby drops with a bullet hole in the neck, writhing in agony. She should die in a day or so if she's lucky. So, what's not to like? Easy, easy. Now, flip the coin. Some conservative conservationists, and more than a few sharpshooters, hate these thundering freeloaders that trample through the terrain eating grass and pooping everywhere. And they don't care how they die. They are determined to eradicate them, or at least cull them into manageable numbers, like none. So how can we argue with this level of common sense? We can't, because it isn't. It just doesn't make sense. I've tried, like I always do, to find a middle ground in an argument, but in this debate, I can't. Culling these creatures, and any others for that matter, is not dumb. It's calculated. It's polarizing and useful to kick culling into gear when there's another agenda that needs to be slipped to our nose. And we fall for it every single time. We race off to the office coffee break, armed with false information that's been fed to us, like a suppository, usually from the side that has the most to gain. And we blitz anyone who dares to argue with us or anyone. So the Brumbies continue to drop and linger in agony, and the camels line up next in line. There's millions of them, aren't there? Or so they tell us. The question is, where? Take the blinkers off, my friends. If you're in tourism like the rest of us, I mean, who isn't? It's the only industry we've got left in Australia that can't be outsourced then you should be aware that these sneaky buggers are stealing your future and your souls.